Congress of the Labour Movement. And I'm pleased to see that year after year the gathering is increasing. It shows that people are coming to understand the importance and significance of this symbolic ceremony. And so I welcome all of you. We are here at the graveside of the late Sir Joseph of Canada Brand, the man who you would say personified and is the embodiment of the labor movement. Having lived for all the entire 20th century, having born in 1907 and died in 1997, and in a very real way, he oversaw most of the important and significant development in this country. He was a signatory to the establishment in 1932 of the Workers' Union. Here at the 1935 uprising started at Buckley's in this constituency. He was here at the 1940 National Strike. He was there in 1948 at the General Strike in this country. He was there in 1952 at the event of adult suffrage. 1956 at the event of the ministerial system. He was there in 1967 the advent of statehood and 1983 when we became independent. So basically we would say that uh, he really played an, an important role and played an indelible mark in the development of our country. And so we want to thank him and we have come to pay homage to him and all the other foreign comrades. If at this time this country doing well and look like we are standing tall. We are standing tall because we are standing on the shoulders of giants like the late Sir Joseph Nathaniel Brands. And so we want to thank him. We want to say, however, that the challenges that we face at this time are different to what we face. And so we have come, as it were, to get some inspiration and some guidance and some insight from his life, his life of humility and service see how we could address the, the troubling and vexing issues that are plaguing this country at this time. And we know that with guidance from him, with wisdom from him, uh, we will be able to do exactly that. We want to honor our role and responsibility of carrying on the great legacy, the great tradition, the great heritage that uh, people like Sir Joseph Nathaniel has made. And so we want to give thanks to the Almighty for his life and his service and to dedicate our own lives to the service of this country and to mankind in general. So it gives me great pleasure to uh, pass the, the, the meet to great grandson, but I should also uh, acknowledge and recognize the presence of his children, uh, Prudence and Peace and Pride. And uh, the third generation, the great grandson of Common Friends, who will lay the root on the people.
There's a journalist. Yeah, yeah. If you don't want to be anywhere, just go. Hey, take a picture on the bus for me, please. 